We lost a revolutionary in the world of track and field yesterday. Olympic gold medalist Dick Fosbury dedicated his life to helping athletes here in Idaho and around the world. The ambassador of the high jump and inventor of the Fosbury flop died yesterday morning at 76 years old. Today we're hearing from Idahoans fortunate enough to call him friend who say they were shocked to learn of his passing. He ran, jumped and hit his landing for the last time leaving a deep hole. It's a big one. In the hearts of everyone he knew. He's got his hand in a lot of different things and just a big gentle soul. And in the world of track and field. He's gonna leave, you know, a, a strong legacy behind. It's, it's an immense blessing. I mean, he's irreplaceable. He's a giver and that he, he's one of those people that has a lot to give and wants to constantly be helping others. Social media posts confirmed high jump pioneer Dick Fosbury passed away peacefully in his sleep Sunday morning. The larger than life legend who lived in Blaine County just turned 76. I'm still in shock. Of, this wasn't even on the radar that this was possible. Friends say he was battling lymphoma for the second time and was undergoing treatment the past few months. I was really devastated. Um, you know, my heart goes out to his wife, Robin, and his children. Um, just. Just let them know that you know we're thinking of them at this time, and we knew it was a little bit of a trying time these last couple months. But we were all you know crossing our fingers that he was going to make it through. Fosbury is the 1968 Olympic gold medalist who transformed the high jump event with his iconic back first technique, the Fosbury flop. He was one of the most caring, genuine uh, human beings that I've had the privilege of knowing. Modest. Um, when you met Dick, you would never have any idea he was as legendary an athlete. He just went down to earth and real and cared about people. Good job. Fellow Olympic gold medalist, pole vaulter Stacy Dragila. Another build up, rock back push, get your eyes up, chest up, elbows back. Now lives and coaches in Boise. Jumping through the hoops here. When you jump off that foot, Dylan, kick your bum. She worked closely with Fosbury through his work with the Simplot Games, which he chaired for more than two decades. He started bringing in a lot of Olympians and just really trying to tie this all together. Fosbury coached and mentored young track and field athletes in Idaho. I've been able to do a lot of camps with him during the summer as well, and just um, he just loves giving of his time and his knowledge to all the athletes to see him out there um, really giving the wisdom to these younger kids. I just am really inspired by him. He once served as president of the World Olympians Association and the U.S. Olympics and Paralympics Alumni Association until the day he died. He also served on the Blaine County Board of Commissioners alongside another world-class athlete, Paralympic gold medalist Muffy Davis. He is brilliant, was brilliant, and knew details uh, and was a huge resource for us on our board in terms of our land use and planning and development. I feel blessed that I had this past year to work right next to him and learn from him. I mean, he was the chair, um, was a big mentor and helped me in so many ways, not just in my public service work, but in life. It just reminds me to live life to the fullest and, you know, don't look back, don't regret things, but go out there and do what you feel is right in your heart and to serve others and to inspire others is, is really, I think his legacy is to, to get out there and just be inspiration to others. Fosbury got his degree in civil engineering from Oregon State, so not only was he an incredible athlete, he was also very, very intelligent. He worked for 25 years as the city of Ketchum engineer. I know Democratic Party Chair Lauren Nekachea sent out a statement about Fosbury's passing. She said in part, quote, the legacy of Dick Fosbury extends far beyond the high jump. A longtime civil rights advocate and business leader, he was a pillar of the Wood River Valley. And as an Idaho Democrat, he exemplified so many of our values, fairness, grit, and innovative action. It's going to be missed.